Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman and today we are looking at home links 110, that is unit 1, lesson 10. We are talking about snake lengths. Uh, really what we're doing is we're measuring uh, linear length using customary units of measure. We're in our home length, so let's jump right in. It says use the measurement scales to solve the problem. And what you see down here are two number line scales, one converting yards into feet and one converting feet into inches. So you can use this number line to help you complete the tables that are below. So for every one foot, for example, you would have 12 inches. So you can use the uh, number line to help you solve these questions up to a point because you'll notice that the number line for feet to inches only goes to 9. So what do you do when you get to 12? Well, 12 is just a combination of 9 and 3, right? So here's 3, here's 9 again. If you were to add the totals of three feet uh, equivalent in inches, which is 36, and 108 together, uh, which is the equivalent of nine feet, that would get you 12 feet. So let's just do that. I'm going to add 108 plus 36. Well, 8 plus 6 gives me 14, so I'm going to carry that 10. 10 plus 30 is 40. Nothing to carry. So I just bring down the 100, it's 144. So 12 feet is the equivalent of 9 feet plus 3 feet. And when you get those all together, you get 144 inches. Now another way of looking at this is that when I'm converting feet to inches, I'm just multiplying by 12. So if you knew what 6 times 12 is, you can just put that answer right in the box. I'm going to let you uh, divine what 6 times 12 is. Over here on number 2, we're doing the same thing, converting yards to feet. And of course, there are 3 feet and 1 yard, so basically I'm just multiplying everything times 3. And again, it works out well in the first couple of problems, but when we get to 8 yards... Okay, we uh, run out of uh, number line here. You see, we don't have a conversion beyond three yards. So what's, what's a student to do? Well, I know that there are three feet for every yard, so if I multiply eight times three, that's going to give me my total. Well, if you don't know your eight times table yet, uh, it's really simple. I'm just going to add three eighths together because... When I multiply 8 times 3, what I'm really doing is just adding 8 plus 8 plus 8. Well, 8 plus 2 is 16. 8 plus 3 is going to give me 24. So there are 24 feet in 8 yards. So now we've got a couple of story problems down here at the bottom. If uh, you did the math journal assignment for 110, you will remember that uh, the folks who write these uh, number story problems, uh, they're wanting to see if you're paying attention because you're going to notice that the, uh, the parts of the problem that give you length uh, are in one unit, but then they want you to give you the answer in another. The king cobra can measure a little over four yards in length. The black mamba can reach a length of almost five yards. What is the combined length of the two snakes in feet? See right there. They want to see if you're paying attention. You're going to have to convert your answer to feet. So first you have to add the yards together. Well, that's pretty simple. It's just four yards plus five yards. Four plus five, of course, is nine so now I have to multiply 9 yards times 3, or add 3 groups of 9, just like I did 3 groups of 8. And that's how you go about doing it. Walk through each of these problems, read the instructions. If you don't have 
the answer for these uh, conversion tables, these input-output uh, machines. Uh, in front of you with these number lines, you'll need to just uh, do a little multiplication or repeated addition. Finally, down at the bottom where it says practice, it says write 4,857 in words. So when you write a number in word form, you are literally just writing down the words you would say when you say that number aloud. So when I say 4,857, that is exactly what I'm going to write down. 4,000, comma, 800, Fifty-seven, and that's word form. If you have questions, reach out to your math teacher um, or talk to your parents when you're doing this. If you are working on this for homework, a uh, parent or an older sibling will be more than happy to uh, help you out. Otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.